works if you forwarded your portfolio or you just came to join us to yes watch. yes i did okay um, yes i did you... forward my portfolio yes okay can you tag um, the portfolio and start with that? okay i'll do that right away okay yes. thank you Okay, I just did. I I need to appreciate you guys for this. I've been wanting to do this all um to just get better, yeah. Thank you. All right, so, all right, so. so there is a portfolio that I just discovered. Apparently it's from one of our students, um, at Obali Academy. Uh, her name is well uh, Fully show for long show, and I saw it today, and I was, I was wowed. It's very simple. It doesn't have frills. Doesn't have. There's nothing excess about it. It's, I would go as far as saying that it's as minimal as possible, and it does the job of being a portfolio. So you you can see her work, her resume about her, and ways by which you can actually reach her. Her logo is also quite nice. Um, so let's look at her resume. I think, yeah, this, this is basically all she has done. You know, um, she's a, she's been a UX researcher and a UX designer, craft tough, um, designer developer, grant stone, product designer, corner stone, Jumia group. And she's also done some freelancing as well so i think she's basically just listed her work experience and the skills in which she's you know things that she's proficient in as well as her academic um, accomplishments right so there's also a link to a downloadable um pdf resume which let's just check that out so you can see it's very very simple Very, very simple. So let's backtrack a bit. Check how work. Writing cost effective. Yeah, 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 yeah. So see the case study. Very Health is a full stack digital DDT health platform built for the African market addressing problems that need a doctor's pre prescription to treat less by being highly common. So she listed out her roles. The duration of the project, the scope of the project, the industry, and the client. So she basically just described the problem, the goal, um, competitive analysis, understanding the users, and then her approach and, and design process. I think why I, I like her, her presentation is mostly because she presents this as as if she's the one telling her a story. So it's not just like a checkbox of steps that she needs to complete. And I think that's very important because a lot of case studies pretty much look the same. <clears throat> pretty much look the same. Problem definition and then research. Next thing I see, empathy map, personas, wireframe, high fidelity. You know, it, it's, it's just wild. Then um, all the screens and then how to key with what stage is product and some other stuff that she actually has on ground. So, I mean, I like the, I like the, I like this. I really like this. All right. So where's yours? Ah, there we go. Link three. I raise leaders at Armstrong Tribe. Um, design portfolio, motion design portfolio, H to H center. So let's see your design portfolio. You put your design portfolio on Pinterest, bro. This will not get you points. Don't do this. Don't do this.
Let's see what do you have for video EBA platform ads. Mm -hmm. Nice music though. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Um, so here's what I think you should do, right? This don't you could you can't use this. Do something a lot more presentable, right? You can't don't don't use link tree. Learn how to use you know, I mean even if it's okay, no don't use notion, use busy. Because busy gives you you know more flexibility. So here's my my I make my business just the same. Thank you. So I make my business just the same. Thank you. Uh -huh. Um so this is just basically my Right, and it's barely complete, and I, I barely put all my, my I, I don't have my portfolio on. It's just existing. If you want to get to know about me, you want to see my resume, you know, think I want to book a session with me. It's just a basic website. I think you should employ the, the same approach. Fizzy is free. You should check it out. Um, for your design work, don't do this. Don't use Pinterest. Don't 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 do this. Treat it on a case by case basis and treat it as if you're trying to solve a problem, right? Because people who are hiring you aren't just hiring you just because you, you can make things look pretty. They are hiring you because you are able to solve a certain problem for them, even if that problem is um, designing visuals. So you have to be able to present your work in a very, you know, in, in a way that is easy to read. This just feels like you put a lot of things in an attempt to impress people, and it's a lot to look at. So I wouldn't advise that you go with this approach. Uh, you mentioned a particular website. I didn't get it, sorry. Is, is it busy? Yeah, this is the website, busy.io. Right. You can also check out this girl's website. Um, the person whose web website I just reviewed. Um, follow her show. Is it the show for show? Yeah, that's yeah, that's it. So you can check out her website as well. All right. So who's next? Let's see, let's see who's next, who's next, who's next, who's next, who's next. Um, this is Oluafemi. All right, let's open it. With Edge. Adebiro Oluafemi. Oluafemi. All right, let's take a look at this. Oh, no, I didn't comment to this, sorry. All right, so it has all the necessaries ways by which you can contact her um okay yeah her notion document it would be nice to actually shorten this because it's too long address um profile work information so this is yeah this is a simple this is a simple one english language there is no need for you to rate it just say that yes i'm proficient at, at english language and that's all Education, fine. You know, this is it's an okay, it's an okay um, resume. Will it help you stand out of the crowd? Possibly not. But let's see her notion. Okay, has about her. That's fine. Her resume is there. That's fine. Case studies, metadata, coffee shop. Let me see coffee shop. Coffee shop. All right. So she listed all the 
points. That's good. Overview. Low fidelity, the problem. So this was what I was this was what, what I was talking about earlier. Listen out to your case study as if it's just check marks that you are running. So the problem, customers finding blah 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 the objectives, blah 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 blah, the goals, blah 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 blah, user research, blah 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 pain points, blah 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 No. You can do you can take it one step further by crafting your case studies as if you are telling a story. And I think people people connect more with stories than with just you just regurgitating, oh, this is what I did, blah 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 blah. No. A story makes it easy for you, right, for you to sell yourself better. All right. So I mean she checks everything, uh, which is actually cool. But um I think I think her presentation, I mean she's using notion, so in terms of presentation, she's probably you know, she's probably not doing a lot, but what she actually has is good. But personally I think that if you know if she can craft this to actually better sell herself in front of recruiters. So that's fine. Uh, let us see who is next. Uh, who, else is, who else is here with me on the call? Ayodeji. Ayodeji. Uh, your audio is low. The audio is low. All right, let's see. Who is this? This is Fadi. Fadi. Oh God, I wish I know how to pronounce this. Yusuf. Here's his resume. Let's check it out. Ooh, mysterious. D. Fadi Yusuf. To blog content, my bio, brand design, user interface, marketing, um, marketing design, and photography. Talk about yourself. Good. Good. And then you just dive straight into the now, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, I didn't, it didn't spell brief correctly, but you know, let's move on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Brand description, you talk about your direction. So this is what I mean. Presenting your, presenting your case studies as if, you know, I mean, especially when you are doing like visual design, you don't just throw it all out and you're just throwing logos or throwing visuals and, you know, think, thinking that people make it fine. No. Tell a story. And if you're going to be doing like case studies, you don't need to put like five, just put three good ones. Three good ones. They can be diverse. You can do one for, you can do one or two for, for visual, uh, brand identity. You can do one or two for, so if, if you, if you have like, if, let's say you have like, you want to do like five case studies altogether, do one or two for, for brand design, one or two for product, for web, one for, then maybe one for mobile. But the point is that they have they have to see your process because people are more you know recruiters and companies are more interested in your problem solving abilities than they are in your abilities to cough out impressive looking visuals. Process always works for them. They want to see your ability to understand problems and how to provide solutions to those problems. And I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. And oh yes, also your presentation matters. And this is damn good presentation. All right, this is AOG Sports. This is good. Also, so I mean, this is good, good stuff. Uh, well, I mean, I think this 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 can be better, honestly. But this is really good stuff. You know. So this is probably like his logo for you. If you want, also want to add like more stuff. Then it also pays, I mean, especially if you are like really heavy on logo design, you can just slap all of this, you know, in one corner of your portfolio. But that should be after you've, you've done the storytelling bits. UI design. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Title by hero page. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he's doing his like a showcase and not necessarily like a case study, which I find to be okay as well. But I think that this this could be better presented. This could be better presented because having it like this is, is kind of, mm, I think it's the shadows that are just setting me off. This could be better presented. Marketing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
And it's also nice that it's very organized. I like this. Photography, yeah, yeah. Well, photography is always always good stuff. So I like this. I like this. I really like I really like what I'm seeing here. This is nice stuff. All right. Who else do we have here? Oh, this is his resume. Um, this is good, yeah. But one thing that we also we should we should typically be careful of is that structuring our resumes such that it is unreadable by um all these ETS machines, right? Because if you feed your resume to an ETS machine, the ETS uh, the ETS um, software is basically going to scan through your document and try to extract as much information as it can. So if it's too heavy visually, right, it's very difficult for the machine to scan through. So that's why resumes have to be as simplistic in design as possible. You can afford to be creative, but not too creative to the point that it's, it's you are designing a flyer instead of a resume. All right, so who do we have here? This is Behance. Let's check his resume. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Simple stuff. Simple stuff. Step one, food. CRO and product designer. CRO auditor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on this person. Product designer contract. Colab gaming productivity. Um, Loxico. UK. Mm hmm Nice. Many purchase pipeline efficient, yeah, 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 yeah. Churchill Classics, B2C, Rondo. So this is this is a good presentation, actually. This is someone who has a this is a good way to actually just like you know put together your your, your resume. But for his portfolio, okay, he probably needs to like figure that out. I think this is it here. Portfolio on Behance. Again, not really the biggest fan of you. No, Behance. Okay, so this is the personal bias. You can actually use Behance as you know as your portfolio. I'm just not a fan of it. But this looks good visually. All right. Discord is evolved. Difficulty is couple of percent more timeline. Mm -hmm. Surveys we used again checkpoint up uh, checkbox approach. Uh huh uh huh uh huh. Body position personas. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Other personas. What else are you going to see there? Your design system. Uh -huh. uh, your grid style, logo and branding. So uh, it's just your standard case study type of scenario. Things that you'd expect to see. But it does look good, no doubt. Okay, so I think we're done with him. We don't really have a lot of time. But whose CV should we also take a look at as well? Kintolaj Patrick Shunobi. Shunobi. Oh, Shunobi is Shunobi. Shunobi. Good, good, good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is fine. This is this is well put together. I need to probably lose the extra space though. <laughs> Wait. So there's this lousy trick I, I I do to to game ATSs, right? Is that some I would get like a lot of keywords, and I'll put it inside the document, but I'll make the text white. <laughs> I'll make the text white. So while the ATS is 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 looking for certain keywords in 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 the resume, it just increases my, the chances of the ATS picking my resume when it's doing its filtering. So yeah, that's just one one trick that I learned some time back. Is that legal? Right, was, eh? Is that legal? <laughs> well, it's not illegal. <laughs> ah, nice. It's not illegal. I just yeah. I just learned one. I will use it as watermark everywhere in white. 
Uh -huh. So just just put it in white there. Okay, this is interesting. This image is highly pixelated. Maybe like a better resolution image would be better. Let's create designs that work and deliver great results. Hello and welcome. Does that mean download CV? We'll come to this. Um, about me, my designs, my process. What is your process like? The link is not going. Design section, scroll there. Man, it does have a big head. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being that he used Webflow to do this, he probably should work on the animation a bit as well, because this took a while to come up. Carry good. few designs I worked on. Carry good. UK study. Let's go. It's on Behance. Okay. Carry good preparation. Project overview. My roles, my responsibilities. That's cool. The goal. All right. Also cool. Design process. Meh. Checkbox approach. That's fine. Um, user research. Research people. Key findings. Good, 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 good pain points, always write down the pain points because it helps it helps people who are looking at your pain, at your at your case study to identify the problem that you're trying to solve. Okay. Um, personas, mm, personas, why does this guy look familiar? Eh. Personas, information architecture, cool, 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 low fire wireframes. I am usually not a fan of showing, you know, my wireframes. I'm usually not a fan of showing because yeah, I, personally, I think it just takes up more space. And I think that every other every other piece of information above this lo-fi wireframe section is, is more important than the wireframe section itself. Most people, most people, like it makes more sense to just land them here. Well, because this is this is in my opinion is more of an internal pro it's an internal process that people don't necessarily need to see or people need to connect to it. Uh, okay. Okay. This is tricky. Also, this is also very tricky. It doesn't make sense for you to actually put to accept my terms of condi and conditions beneath the the cta that's not that's not that's not very good also um using smart sign up methods like what is facebook google and anything it's usually best to put it at the top not at the bottom the style guide yeah okay and then i'm presuming this is like a prototype i think yeah, contact writer, color text, text, call. Um, call from arrival, the tier, no, yeah. Ah, why is this thing looking weird like this? Hmm. I feel like overall the design can be better. Mr. Shouldn't be. All right, so we have all of that. Okay, who else are we looking at? EJ Designs, IJE Design, Felix Isama. I think this person is a visual designer, but he does look. Hmm. Hmm. Spectrum. So it's uh, so it's just showcasing. Showcase and mock-ups. Uh, not a lot of good stuff to look at here. All right, let's go a little back. Oh, we're taking a look at you. Yeah, I saw this this morning. I saw this this morning, yeah, and when I looked at it, it, it looks colorful, which is good. It looks creative, which is good. And everything was working fine for him. I just list out the tools. No need to no need to show your ranking or how proficient you are. If you are not proficient in a tool, don't list it out. And the reason for that is mostly because if if that tool that we are not proficient in is what the employer is looking for, the truth will always come out. So branding and their identity, the way this could have been presented far better. 
So I think that that was my issue. His presentation of of his, his showcases could have been far better, far far better. So that is that about that. Um, his CV though looks hmm, it's different, but it has all the like regular details that you'd expect. So this is fine. Mass communication, CAC monitoring. Yeah, on another thing, I think one would do well to actually flesh out your responsibilities a lot more instead of making them one liners. So again, here's my resume. So this is what I did as team as as a lead product designer. I did all this. I designed this, this, this. So you outline all your responsibilities. You don't just make give one liners. Again, your resume is 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 a way to actually sell yourself. And you shouldn't sell yourself in one line. Right, so let's see what else are we here for? Oh, yeah, how to do no, no, okay, this was me. Uh, is there any more? I think this is probably the last one that we'll do before we actually call it, you know, <clears throat> before I actually call it. I wanted to show you guys my Figma templates that I was putting together for um, resumes. So, um, my name is John, John I mean Johnson, graphic designer, Hayami. Okay, that's fine. Education. Mm, no, don't do, don't use this. <laughs> no, don't use this. This is not even, this is not a portfolio and this is not a resume either. Don't use this. It looks more like a broker. Exactly my, you know, exactly my thoughts. Anyways, since we've gotten to this point, let me just quickly show you what I have been doing with um, with the um, Save Figma file that I've been working on. So I made this to be as modular as possible, right? So it means that you can actually edit um, layouts. So I, I, I mean, right now it has like three layouts. I have layouts one, layout two, layout three. So you can change layouts using components if you want, right? Um, and then you can even change individual. You know, you can change the it work out work on the individual components. So for example, this is like the header. It has your name, job title, so you can. Determine whether or not it has photos or not. You can change the alignment, right? Um, and then you can just like make edits here. Okay, this is fine. This is also fine. All right, so you can remove the experience summary if you want, and then just write the um, the your your talking points. Uh, you can remove responsibilities if you want. Depends on how you want to run it. So, and then, um, so I think this is the education bit. Not much to customize here. Also skills, also not much to actually customize here. But, you know, I'm still expanding this and I want to add like more layouts, but this is the crux of the, this is the crux of, of, the, um, of the resume. Of the resume file that I have on um, on Figma. So let me just share the link if you are interested to give it any give it a spin. Um, so let me just put it. In, okay, I'll, I'll put it in the CV group. I think, I think that'll be best. Man, it looks. What? So that's it, you know, very simple session so far. Um, hopefully when we have more CVs, we'll actually do another session like this, maybe like sometime next week. We want to make this like a Wednesday, I mean a Thursday thing. So we just do like 30 minutes, 30 to one hour review, review 
um, portfolios and CVs and just, then just give like sharp and quick feedback. So I think that draws us to the end of this review session. Uh, thank you guys for joining. And uh, we'll see each other next week. Um, can I go ahead? Yeah, go ahead. Now. We'll see each other next week. Yeah. All right, so when you're applying for a job, um, without, I mean, a job generally, you have your CV, you have your portfolio. Um, when you're attaching it to the email, what do you get to put on the body? I mean, you just attach and then send, or what exactly um, does one should do, right? Yeah. I mean, like, it depends on how you're actually doing it. If, if, you're, if you're applying via mail, Right. Yes, you should actually just attach it as put it as an attachment. They will see it. They can't miss it. Um, if the if the application requires you to send in a cover letter as well, you, what you can do is send in a cover letter. Um, send an email. If so, you can send the cover letter as the email and and the um, and the resume as the attachment, or you could just send a regular email. And have put your cover letter and your resume as the attachment. So it depends. Those those are like the approaches. Those are the acceptable approaches you do use. Um, can I add to that? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, so Eugene, if you're applying for any job and you were not asked to send any cover letter, like Boss said, just put the cover letter as the body of, of the email. But if you ask for a cover letter, um, you can Google um, body of letter um, suggestion or example when applying for a job. But your body of the email should never be blank. Okay, so any other questions? Going once. Hello. Hey, David. Also, um, I'm good. Um, I was saying something earlier, but I think my network has been messing up. Uh, first off, thanks for the resume um, stuff on Figma. That's cool. I really like the way it is. The fact that it's modular. Thank you. Yeah. And um, secondly, I Elsie, I didn't hear what you just said. Now, so, so can you please repeat? Okay, uh, what I said was that when applying for any job, if you are asked to send in your cover data, you you must always have a body of the data. But if you are asked not to, like there is no cover data, sending attaching cover data, use your cover data as the body of the email. Never send your application with an empty email body. That, that is, don't just attach your CV and send it. There must be something. David, did you get that? All right, so um, if, there's, if there's nothing else, I think it, this is a good place for us to draw. This session to a close. Thanks for joining me and uh, we'll see each other later. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Chief.